good y'all so boy jpm we back with another video yes sir we back we back and better you know what i'm saying today i just want to talk about you know what i'm saying um the reason why you gotta focus on yourself and the reason why you gotta um make sure you keep your plans and stuff to yourself and never um never never tell no one until it's confirmed you know what i'm saying never tell no one until it's confirmed because at the end of the day you don't want no bad spirits, no one wishing bad on you. The evil eye is real. You gotta watch out for that stuff. And and another thing is too, cut negative people out your life. You know what I'm saying? My brother told me that, you know what I'm saying? I asked my brother, hey, how do I work on my mental health? How do I get better? Shout out to my brother, Jonathan. And you know what I'm saying? He, he was telling me, he's like, hey, you gotta, you gotta cut those people out of your life because you can only bring positive people in your life. And now that's what I did, you know what I'm saying? I cut, cut negative people out of my life. Cut, you know what I'm saying? Things I had to really cut off, and I'm grateful for that. Grateful that I cut those things off because now I feel better in my spirit, my soul, and you know now, you know what I'm saying. The one thing is, the one thing I noticed is too, is when you're when you're a worshiper of God as well. One thing is, your plans are always gonna fail. You know what I'm saying your plans will never work out the way you want it to work out. The reason why I'll never work out the way you want it to work out is because. It's because God's plan will always prevail. You know what I'm saying? The story's already written. The story's already written. So why worry? Why stress? Keep positive people in your life and try to make your life the best. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, negative people, those negative people in your life are going to get cut out regardless. Remember, God already has a story. Remember, it can get cut out in the next 10, 20. It can get cut out before you even die. You're on your deathbed. It can get cut out. It's going to get cut out regardless. If it doesn't get cut out, you dying is getting them cut out same way it will be cut out regardless right now one thing you know what I'm saying the other thing i was saying before previous thing i was saying before is never let anyone know until it's confirmed this is a very serious thing you know what i'm saying keep to yourself don't talk much listen very much you know what i'm saying listen more than speak you know what i'm saying i had to learn that the hard way you know what I'm saying? I learned a lot of lessons the hard way. If I didn't learn the hard way, I'll be in way better positions now. But at the end of the day, this has taught me how to move forward. And how I move forward now is a very different, different approach on how I move forward and how I do things. Because one thing I know now is, sorry, one thing I know now is how I move now, it's not gonna be easy to access myself. You know what I'm saying? Keep your time, your time, you know what I'm saying, who you are, things are not gonna be able to be easy accessible, right? You cannot make yourself easy accessible to nobody. And you know what I'm saying, you gotta make everything difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if you wanna go into a relationship, they gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta meet these Harvard applications. You gotta meet these Harvard requirements. Shout out to, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, Myron, I heard that, you know what I'm saying, from the podcast, I heard him say that, you know what I'm saying, it really resonated with, re resonated with me. And when I heard that, I really understood that, um, Damn, man. I really understood that, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter, friends, whoever, you gotta make sure they fill out the Harvard application. You gotta, they gotta meet those requirements. It can't be easy to get around you, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta get out of, you know what I'm saying? If you're young, especially young men, the party scene, the club scene, you gotta get out of, you gotta get out of those scenes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, one thing I learned the most is, you can party, do all that stuff. You can do that stuff if you want. It's like healthy balance, healthy balance, but forget healthy balance, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Myron for Fresh and Fit. I know it's, you know what I'm saying? It's not that, not always the healthiest podcast, but some things, you know what I'm saying, are healthy, and this is a very healthy thing. Forget watching TV, forget doing all that stuff, forget even playing video games, you know what I'm saying? That's a hard thing for me to let go, too, and I had to let it go. Forget playing video games, start journaling. Shout out to Hamza, shout out to my boy Marty. Start journaling, start folks, yo, just grind. If you just take your whole 20s and just grind it and just focus on work, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're just at a job, if you're at a job, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to go on social media or whatever. You're trying to get new heights or whatever. If you're at your job, become the best of your job. Focus on your job. Take your job very seriously. Increase your income. You have 50K, go to go to 55, go to 60. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the next three years, oh, damn, I'm at 70 now. Okay, keep going up in your job. Just grind to the top. You know what I'm saying? Find a new job. You don't like that one. You know what I'm saying? find other ways to hustle you know what i'm saying get those get the money up you know what i'm saying focus on that all in your 20s for young men especially focus on that in your 20s grind out hard because when you grind out hard this is what's gonna happen now when you grind out hard 
when you're 30 years old, all that partying, the club, and all that stuff, if you choose to do that, which I recommend, you know what I'm saying, you can do it if you want to do it. I've done it before, you know what I'm saying, but it's not healthy for you. Same thing with smoking weed and drinking alcohol. It's not healthy for you. I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying, it's your birthday, you know what I'm saying, you had downtime, you work extremely hard for years, and you want to smoke or drink some alcohol, okay, cool, that's what you choose to do. I recommend not doing it, you know what I'm saying. There's no point in doing it, you know what I'm saying, but enjoy it. Still enjoy yourself. Don't kill yourself, you know what I'm saying. You still need to rest. Take a day out to rest, not a whole day, but like, you know, take time out to rest, you know, bounce yourself out. And really and truly, you want to get that seed in here because you know what I'm saying, you're building fruits in the ground. You got to get those seeds, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to get those seeds and build it up into a plant. And when you build up those plants, also those seeds go into fruits as well. You know what I'm saying? Build yourself up. Don't let no one come near the fruits and the plants. You know what I'm saying? Make it hard to come around you. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell no one until it's finish you know what i'm saying going into the new year just strive for better strive for the best the best you can do strive for the best you can do that's all you can do strive for the best you can do do your absolute best and when you grind all like that and focus all your all your time into work and making sure you're the best person in the gym you know what i'm saying your relationship with god you know what i'm saying that's a real thing that got to be talked about man. the relationship with god when you grind all those things up what is gonna happen now is when you're going out to search for your partner, when they're going to look for that new place, you know what I'm saying? When they're going to look for those friends, you know what I'm saying? Obviously still be social to an extent and stuff like that. Do things to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Be, be good to yourself and you know what I'm saying? Don't necessarily close off to the point where you can't be social. You know what I'm saying? You can still be social. You know what I'm saying? You want to start talk to women, you can still talk to women. Don't, don't cut those things completely out of your life. But for example, Keep this rule in mind. You know, so I heard this rule from Myron. Shout out to Myron again. I heard this very important rule. He does, he does a 14-1. So one week hard work, one another week hard work. Then the one day out of the week, if he has a female he's talking to or he's getting to know, you know what I'm saying? He would go and see that female and spend the day with her, right? And then after you do that. What you do is you want to do one week and then you take that one, let's say a Monday, Tuesday, you make the appointment with a girl, you know what I'm saying? You and the girl hang out, you chill for the day, you go out, you go to a music park, you can go hang out with her for the day. But after that, the rest of the days are work, you know what I'm saying? You got, you can still keep that healthy balance, but the thing is you can't, it has to be, one has to be greater than the other. Because if you make the female greater, you know what I'm saying? If you make the spending time with your boys greater, the gaming time greater than the actual time you're doing to get work done to go in the gym to do all these things what's gonna happen is you're gonna start failing and me today you know what i'm saying go to the gym after work you know what i'm saying after work go to the gym after i go to the gym i usually you know what i'm saying gonna go home shower so what did i complete today i went to work i went to the gym after i go to the gym i'm gonna go home you know what i'm saying gonna go make a meal you know what i'm saying go cook a meal you know what i'm saying it's different when you live with your parents and stuff like that, but I, you know what I'm saying? When you live by yourself, it's different. So me, go cook a meal, go cook up, you know what I'm saying, dinner and stuff like that. I go eat food, I go put my lunch away for the next day, you know what I'm saying? And maybe some more food for the next day as well. After I do that, after I do that, I go, you know what I'm saying? I go take a shower, clean up, go take a shower, you know what I'm saying? Then I will go and I go pick up my, you know what I'm saying? Go pick up my Bible, you know what I'm saying? Go watch it, go listen to a sermon, you know what I'm saying? Go pray to God, do devotion time, at least 10 minutes a day. You don't have to do a long time, you know what I'm saying? 10 minutes a day devotion time and also meditation, you know what I'm saying? My brother told me 30 minutes, but I'm gonna start off with five minutes. After I do five minutes, I'll build my way up. So after I do all that stuff, by the time I go home, by the time I go home and finish all those things, it's gonna be like six o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Around six o'clock, after six o'clock, what do I do after that? Now, I've done the things I need to do for the day. How can I be more productive? You know what I'm saying? I can chill out, you know what I'm saying? I can rest, you know what I'm saying? You could read a book, you know what I'm saying? You could you can even go to the gym twice if you want, but you know, make sure your day is productive. Make sure you get that rest in as well. Don't, don't kill yourself, man, you know what I'm saying? It's the world, you still gonna kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can go talk to your friends, just have a phone call, you know what I'm saying? Check on people. Or you can just generally just rest, generally rest, give more devotion time, or, you know what I'm saying? You can go pick up a book, you can go pick up more things, you know what I'm saying? Try to fill up that day until nine o'clock. I usually have mine filled up till six. You know what I'm saying? Try to fill up that day till nine o'clock. You know what I'm saying? The books you got, whatever you got. Or even just clean up your house, organize, you know what I'm saying? Just keep yourself well maintained. 
fix up things you gotta fix up, you know what I'm saying? Fold up your clothes. Keep yourself busy in any any regard, you know what I'm saying? Like, groom yourself, you know what I'm saying? You're grooming. Groom yourself. Skincare routine, anything. That's your boy JPN. That's what you gotta do, man. Yo.